Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Castle Perfect, and in today's video, I'm going to show you more or less how to defeat the new 7 star raid Pokemon, which is none other than Typhlosion. In the new 7 star raid event running from today, the April 14th, until the day after tomorrow, April the 16th, and then a week later, which is next weekend, from April 21st until April 23rd. Now, Typhlosion in this raid event is going to be packing the next moves, which are Eruption, Shadow Ball, Play Rough, Earthquake, and an additional move, of course, being Sunny Day. As per usual on 7 star raid Pokemon, this one is carrying the mightiest mark as one of its uh, ribbons, and its hidden ability is going to be Flash Fire, therefore, do not use fire type attacks against Typhlosion because it's going to be hurting you more at the end of the rope. Shiny rate, basically zero. This one is shiny luck. You cannot find it shiny within this raid event. And its level is going to be level 100 with this ghost terra type. It's not going to be uh, holding any held item. And uh, you can only catch it once per save file. All right. So what is going to be the counter that is going to be most beneficial and easiest to use against this Typhlosion? Well, I have found a lot of information online on what to use and what not to use. And the majority of the people are basically saying you need to use uh, Annihilate or Hydreigon or maybe Houndoom. Um, and then I'm here like sitting, no, wait a second. Uh, Fleurmane is basically the one to go because uh, there's there are a multitude of reasons why you want to do this. First, reason number one is its ability. Protosynthesis. It boosts the Pokemon's most proficient stat in harsh sunlight, or if the Pokemon is holding a booster energy. Now, you can already tell. Typhlosion is going to set up the sun, which is going to give us a free 30% boost on our special attack, which is our most proficient stats, as you can see. Next, Shell Bell is going to allow us to sustain throughout the rest of the game, because we're going to be dealing super effective damage with the Shadow Ball. Now, this strategy is only able to work because of this move, Fake Tears. And Fake Tears is a stat-changing move, which is going to drop the special defense stats of Typhlosion by two stages, which is exactly what we want. Calm Mind to make yourself bulky at some stages in the battle, which I'm going to show you in a moment. And Draining Kiss, well, you don't want to use that because, you know, it's, it's just there for show. All right, now that we have this out of the uh, way, oh, one more thing, of course, the EV spread, you want to have 252 on special attack and 252 on HP, and that's basically it. Now, with the formalities out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right in into this, um, into this raid. It's going to be very, very um, effective. Effective to the point where I'm thinking... Mm, I think Fluttermane was the one Pokemon that Game Freak had in mind as the counter for Typhlosion. I may be, may be wrong, don't quote me on this, but it is the feeling that I have. Another cool thing about this 7-star raid event is the fact that they actually brought Typhlosion out with fire. Bro, it's got its fire main, it's amazing. I mean, Typhlosion without its fire active is like such a weird Pokemon to me. But with the fire active, it's like one of the coolest ones. And in this case, we have two Intimidate Pokemon on our team, which is fantastic. Anyway, the strategy starts off with going for the fake tears. That's gonna drop its special defense by two stages. And he's gonna go for the Shadow Ball. Obviously, the Shadow Ball is super effective and it is also stab. So it's the best move that it can go for. It's going to do about 60% damage, which is fine. On the second turn, Typhlosion is gonna force the Sunny Day which in turn is going to activate our Protosynthesis and it's going to give us a boost on special um, on our special attacks. Uh, I mean, special was it Special Defense Special Attack? I, I couldn't really tell right there. I think it's Special Attack. Anyway, we want to go for another Fake Tears because we do outspeed um, Typhlosion, thankfully. Now that's going to bring him down to minus four Special Defense and of course with the Shadow Ball, he is most likely going to take us out. He's not. Well, this can also happen, but then he's gonna force an eruption, and then now we are out. <laughs> Alright, now we just have to wait five more seconds until we revive again. He's gonna set up the shield, which is absolutely fine. Now, this is the moment where we are going to start the setting up strategy because he is going to be already nullified our stat changes, uh, or he is going to. And the protosynthesis activates once again because the sun is up. Special attack is heightened. Perfect. There you go. All right. We are going to go for the Calm Mind here. 
So that's basically what you want to do. The moment you are defeated, the moment the Flutterman goes down, the moment you get back in is the moment you need to start out setting up your stuff. Here, Play Rough is basically the best move it could go for, deals absolutely no damage. I'm gonna go for another Calm Mind, and the reason we being why Diflosion is choosing these weird moves is because of a simple fact that <laughs> every other move is less effective. So now Shadow Ball is going to be his, uh, his choice. Let's see, we are plus two special defense. That's not gonna do, deal that much damage. And uh, now we basically wanna go for Shadow Ball until the very end of the battle. Now, keep in mind that sometimes the game is a little bit unfair, and there is some luck involved, and Diflosion is most likely going to critical hit you, or maybe you get lucky, like we got lucky in this game, and we get another additional special defense drop, which is absolutely fantastic. Another Shadow Ball coming our way. Again, keep in mind we're at plus two special defense, um, so I'm not complaining. I'm gonna go for another Shadow Ball. And basically the whole thing here is, is try to break through its shield. And once the shield is broken, it's basically free real estate from here. Another special defense drop. That never happens. Keep in mind, that never happens. We are getting really, really lucky. Earthquake, because it seems Shadow Ball is not a good, good option. And he's gonna set up the sun. Yes, this is what we want. Protosynthesis is again going to activate and that is going to boost our special attack stats. And now with the Shadow Ball boosted by two Calm Minds, stab, super effective damage, and also our ability, it's almost gonna break down the shield. Shell Bell is gonna bring us back to full HP. And uh, yeah, pretty much. Again, it's. I think this is the best strategy to go for. It's the safest one. And it seems to me that, well, well, okay, well, he's returning fire when it comes to, wait a second, hold up. <laughs> All right, he's going crazy right now. A little bit less uh, less than 50% uh, HP, but now we have the power of terrestrialization. And we're gonna go for that. Uh, that is going to give us enough power to break through the shield and deal uh, additional more damage. go shadow ball that, that's supposed to bring him a little bit low there we go see that's a lot of damage and uh, thankfully um, time Flosion is a very very friendly Pokemon because without the Sun we wouldn't be able to do that much damage but we are now able to do that now he removed negative stat changes from his side so all the luck that we had before it's basically gone but we have Terrestrialize, and still we have that plus two special attack. So we should be able to still deal a lot of damage from this range. Losing is no option. We we'll still have plenty of time. Even if we go down right now, we'll still have enough time to come back in and deal enough damage to the point where we can actually take down the Diflosion. So this should be it. Last Shadow Ball, take down the Diflosion, and uh, GG will play, guys. So this is more or less how I would recommend to take down this uh, seven star uh, Typhlosion with just your Flutter main, which again, it can be found in area zero and um, and you can train it with some protein, I mean, with some medicine, uh, calcium and some HP up, or you can just basically go down the, the crazy route and just basically physically defeat other Pokemon to boost your stats. Um, in this case, I could catch it, but I'm not going to catch it because I don't have the the ball that I want to catch this Pokemon in, which is the fastball. But regardless of the situation, guys, thank you very much for watching. If this if this video was helpful to you, remember to hit the like button, which is absolutely for free, and make sure to subscribe to my channel because in a couple of hours I will be hosting these raids. We're most likely going to be ragdolling this Typhlosion left and right. So, without further ado, thank you, and I hope to see you in the near in the near future thank you bye bye